Beautiful. So let's talk, let's go back now to your third project. The third project. So this going back to this, this gap page, the the place book page, as we would like to call it, but obviously we can't for yeah. uh, certain reasons. Um, so you've got to focus on a particular place. You've got the network, but there's now also this feature where you've got other resources okay. related to this place. Okay. And so what's happening there is... What do you mean by resources? Well, anything else online that references this place. Okay. So now we're going beyond just this particular te- one yes. text you're looking at to potentially any other text that has got this place mentioned in it and any other kind of document, actually. So not just text, actually, but also archaeological material, images, databases, maps. And this is the world of linked data, mm-hmm. and this is the Pelagios project. And that's basically why I'm here with uh, the Perseus crowd. Again, I'm here working with Leaf. It's you know, his his conception really about um, how we can use the power of uh, of the web for being able to enable the linking between different projects. Mm-hmm. So not trying to aggregate everything in one you know, and have one super uh, hub, but actually enable projects to be able to communicate with each other. So mm-hmm. you know, you're working in your project, I'm working in my project, we're representing the data um, and structure in a particular way that's suitable for our projects, but nevertheless, by using the power of linked data, we can enable connections to be made between our different projects yeah. without trying to centralise everything. The other person who's been with us from the beginning of the Pelagios project is Raina Simon. He is a developer mm-hmm. at the Austrian Institute of Technology. Mm-hmm. I should mention Leif Isaacson is at Southampton. Mm-hmm. And together we're uh, Pelagios. We now have a new uh, person on board too, uh, Paolo Santo, mm-hmm. who is at Southampton too. And the way Pelagios works is very simple. We've tried to keep things as simple as possible. I'm a simple person. So. Okay. And also keep the barrier of entry low. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is your place. You know, Basically, we're enabling... The, the connection between documents through common references to places. Mm-hmm. So if your document, like I said, however you conceive that, whether it's a text or an image, mm-hmm. a database, map, whatever, if it references a particular place, all you have to do is to annotate just go those places. It's yeah. that annotation to yeah. say it is. So it's additional data on top of However, whatever structure you want, so it's just, a, it's just an add-on feature. We don't have anything to do with your data. So it's, you just annotate your place and you use an appropriate gazetteer. We've started off with the ancient world, so mm-hmm. the appropriate gazetteer of the ancient world is Pleiades, mm-hmm. you know, based on the Barrington Atlas. And so you just annotate your pla- the places in your document mm-hmm. according to the particular... They call them uniform resource identifiers, URIs. Mm -hmm, Basically, this is just, you know, security, social security number for places. So you can then disambiguate, you know, Mm -hmm. there are 17 or so Alexandria. So which Alexandria do you mean in your document? And just by doing that, you then enable your data to be discovered by the other members of the Plagios community, which is what we are. We're basically a, a decentralized network. And so that means as a user, I can be in my text looking at Herodotus, focusing on this particular place, let's say Samos, and then, you know, I want to know a little bit more about Samos. I want to find out all the other places Samos has been mentioned in Greek or indeed Latin literature. And I want to know about the archaeological data that's been discovered there, if there are any images of Samos, you know, all stuff like that. Right. That's how Pelagius works. Beautiful. <laughs> that's amazing. So...